So now is the time to really sit tight and listen attentively and uh, you know pay attention to details because like uh, Alberto Ferrari said, the devil is in the details, okay? So how does the DAX engine work? Let's see. So DAX, basically, every expression you write on DAX is going to be computed or will return results based on two things, which we call the row context and the filter context. So row context basically is calculations that are carried out row by row. So just like we define a calculated column to say sales minus profit, even though we have said other sales minus others profit, because we are inside the calculated column, calculated column are evaluated on row context. So other sales minus other profit is going to go on every row and do the sales minus profit for that row sales minus profit for the next row and it will repeat the same thing on all the rows and that's what we call row context and uh, you can also uh, be able to get access to the row context when you are writing measures when you use some of the functions that we refer to as iterator functions we'll see how you can do that so the other thing you need to know about evaluation context is your expressions are also evaluated based on the filter context. So any calculation that you do on a subset of your data is what we call uh, filters, basically. And you will notice that you have this behavior on your report view because your report is usually maybe on charts. And when you create a chart, for example, if you say you create sales by region and you have four regions or five regions what that means is you are filtering your sales for each region to get the amount of sales okay for each of those regions so for measures measures typically work on filter contexts calculated tables work on row context so let's see now and dive deeper into measures and explaining this row context and this filter context a lot better.